All right, we're gonna switch over to the red eye tool, which is also pretty straightforward. I've got some red eye in this second photo here. Red eye tool can be found under the spot healing brush. And remember, I click and hold to find anything that's hidden. There's the red eye tool. And all I would need to do is click on the eyeball. However, you'll notice that nothing happened there. That's because I'm on the wrong layer. But to make sure you're on the right layer, as always, now I've got photo two selected, so when I click on the eye, it should remove the red eye. But when I try to do that last eye, I come up with a problem. You can see, if I zoom in, that for some reason, it added a black area down here on his lips. Here, let me do that again so you can see. And there it is. Oh, and it added it to his nose this time. If this should happen to you, and it might happen sometimes, you're gonna have to switch to a different tool. The reason why it's doing this is because it's noticing that the red in the nose is also similar to the red that's in the eye. So it wants to fix that too. So to combat that, we're gonna switch to the brush tool, which is underneath the red eye tool. And I'm gonna change a few settings up here. You remember the hardness. I want it to be pretty soft, yet have some hard edges. So in between 60 and 70 is pretty good. I want it to be small enough that it's not covering the whole eye to be just on the inside of the eye so it just covers the pupil. That looks pretty good. I'm going to change my color. Yours should already be on a default setting, so I'll change mine to the default setting, which is black. Now, if I just click, that does not look very natural. So, we're going to have to do a couple things. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to change both the opacity down pretty low and the flow down 30% ish would be fine and when I click there now it does change a little bit but it's not overwhelming and I can do this as many times as I want to so that it looks natural you may need to zoom out to see that and that looks pretty good so we could leave it there I think I clicked four times so this concludes this photo correction worksheet Please complete the rest of the instructions in your document. Remember, don't submit just yet. We still have one more to go.